Hey everyone, so I have a very different video in the works for you guys that have a number of big stories uh, in it, but I needed to separate the story out. One, because we were obviously getting to the point there was almost too many stories for me to fit in a reasonably uh, length video, and because it's Zelda. And when it comes to Zelda, it deserves its own video. So uh, today we have a fresh rumor for you that is both bad news and good news, and we'll explain why you might want to pay attention to this one. Uh, we haven't had a good old-fashioned rumor video in some time, so uh, get your tinfoil hats ready. I'm not wearing one right now because uh, I have this brand new Nintendo Prime merch hat, which you can buy uh, at the top link down in the description. It's actually really nice. I really enjoy this one. This is uh, a pure snapback. It's it's sweet. I, it was, I like it anyways. All right, so um, before we get into that, I gotta remind you, we are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED. Uh, our second link down in the description will actually link you to a live stream uh, that you need to go set reminders for so you can be there uh, to see who wins the Switch OLED. However, to win, you need to be subscribed. So why not subscribe to the channel right now because bare minimum, all giveaways we do only go out to people who are subscribed. All right, that being said, let's get into this sad, yet also potentially good news. Now look, we all want Breath of the Wild 2 as soon as possible, right? I wanted it last year, I wanted it now, I want it in March. And a lot of us think it's probably a, a game that they are targeting for late 2022 for the holidays, uh, but we don't really know anything about when this game is coming. Last we heard was at E3 where AJ Nomo came out and said, you know, it, it had the 2022 um, date come up. And then he said, hey, we're targeting, we're aiming. Our goal is to have it come out next year, which sort of set the stage to be like, yeah, but this game could be delayed. And we've heard rumors and leaks and reports out there that Breath of the Wild 2 actually suffered the most in Nintendo's development pipeline due to COVID. And here's the thing. We have a fresh rumor coming in from a Twitter account that, again, sounds like bullshit, but I'm going to explain to you why not. Because um, any of these Twitter accounts could be bullshit. But this one, uh, like some a, a few other uh, leakers out there, actually has a positive track record. So uh, this, <laughs> this uh, accounting of what's about to happen comes from the Twitter account HotGirlVideo69. And I know, I know I told you guys, we've actually reported on this person before. And the reports were correct. And I told you guys, if this account that felt like a troll account uh, was, you know, just doing that, just trolling people, uh, we would take the Nintendo Prime sword here and shwack, 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 and that hope right now. But the problem is, Hot Girl 69 actually nailed everything, single thing they said for an entire three month period. So we can't just ignore information even if it comes from an adult place so here's what they said get ready for this um they they put out a tweet a few days ago that i ignored because it sounded like speculation they said in regards to a possible nintendo delays i will just say there's a very real chance that you will play an interim released zelda game before you play breath of the wild 2 that was it that was the end of that but then today they quote tweeted themselves and gave an update that broke my heart. In the days since we posted this, our sources have all messaged us that a delay is imminent. Now, this is interesting, of course, that a delay is imminent for Breath of the Wild 2, considering that we haven't even gotten to 2022. But if you do remember, back with the original Breath of the Wild that they unveiled in 2014, we didn't know it was called Breath of the Wild at the time, they said it would come out in 2015, and in the very beginning of 2015, they announced a delay. An infinite delay, with no idea when we would see the game next. Obviously, we now know it ended up being a launch for the Nintendo Switch in 2017, two years after they said the game would come out. So, Expecting a delay for Zelda games is pretty normal. I was always in the back of my mind being very tepid about this, saying a delay is possible, a delay might even be considered likely. But there is a silver lining. Remember before they mentioned you could play an interim released Zelda game. Well, we have old rumors from Jeff Grubb and others that if Breath of the Wild 2 did get delayed, Nintendo was holding on to the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. You guys see the Wind Waker HD behind me, in fact. So. 
there is a high possibility that Nintendo already had a backup plan in place in case this happened. Now, look, these games wouldn't be part of the, you know, Zelda 35th anniversary. We, that, that boat has sailed. We're just getting the game and watch. But these would be games, big games, to come out next year. Uh, and it does feel weird to have back-to-back -back years of Skyward Sword HD and then this. But you have to remember that for Nintendo, they want to make sure a game is done right. So I'm okay if Breath of the Wild 2 is delayed, so long as it's delayed for the right reasons. Now, if it's delayed and ends up launching on the next platform... That, to me, doesn't feel like the right reason. I think the delay is obviously because the game isn't where they wanted it to be. Remember, AG had almost said that they were targeting 2022. They hope to get it out next year. That didn't sound very confident. I know Bill Trinan came out and said some things that made it look like Nintendo was extremely confident in this game landing uh, next year. But that's Bill Trinan. He's not actually part of the team making it. AG and Omo gave us reason to potentially doubt it would come out next year, and the history of Zelda games getting delayed also give us reason for that. So, I don't know. This is just my take on this. Um, obviously, we have a source here linked down in the description. You can go verify their track record for yourselves if you would like. I've already done so. Uh, that's why we're talking about it. But it's still just a rumor. Again, nothing's been officially announced. There's been no official delay and no official announcement of this game. Or hold up, hold up. I got another one for you guys might, 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 might like. Let me, let me just drag it over here. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, all right. All right. Forgot about this game, right? Twilight Princess HD. Isn't it kind of cool? Twilight Princess HD. Forget about this one. Yeah, Twilight Princess HD would be pretty baller. Uh, Twilight Princess HD, by the way, Twilight Princess in general is the best-selling Zelda game until Breath of the Wild came out. So Nintendo could still recover and end up doing just fine. Skyward Sword HD, from what we can tell, has sold very, very well. This game or the Wind Waker HD would likely sell very, very well. Maybe even better than Skyward Sword HD. Still, we'd be remiss if it wouldn't be able to say it's kind of sad to think Breath of the Wild 2 might be delayed outside of 2022. Again, though, nothing's officially announced. This is just a rumor. But let's hold on to our butt cheeks and... If it does happen, at least know we're getting something Zelda next year. And that something Zelda might be pretty cool. It's just not, might not be what we all hoped it would be. But who knows? They could be wrong. And we might be getting Breath of the Wild 2 next year anyways. So, you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you expecting a Breath of the Wild 2 delay announced soon, if not next year? Um, are you expecting to actually play this game next year? And if it was delayed, is it alright if they just kind of slot in the Wind Waker HD or Twilight Princess HD to kind of fill the void that Breath of the Wild 2 might have left. Assuming that you call it a void, they already have a pretty packed 2022 and we're not even there yet. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video.